Give me a type of place or location that would exist in the 1940s, like a bar or a soda shop. Beauty parlor. Beauty parlor. Beauty parlor, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
across the room. <laughs> and who cares about book learning? Oh, you can just leave that in the dirt. <laughs> sure. I left my degree back at my parents' house because I knew it wouldn't do me any good. <laughs> that was very wise. Well, this is awful. I mean, who wants to catch a fish with a shiny lure? You're just a worm. I guess then you'd be a worm with a fish. It's better to be a worm with a fish. At least you've got something to show for that dish. Sure you might be digesting on its insides. But at least you've got a fish and that's nothing to hide. <laughs> the stinkier that pig can be, the better the man will catch for me. Hook him, hook him in the face. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> hook him, hook him in the face. a plain old face. Oh, no. And no man would look at me twice, not any place. No, 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 no. And then I walked in here and I got all done, done, done. And since then I've been having some something. This club, La Copa Llena, is a front, of course, but nobody knows that. Well, we already knew that, yeah. boss. <laughs> you told us that when you hired us, Mr. Escobedo. <laughs> every single day, pretty much on the regular. <laughs> but if we don't put the people in the seats, I can't justify the losses on the books, okay? Don't worry about it. Our girls, work down at the beauty salon. If they don't work there, they go there. It's a whole bunch of dames. We'll have them in here with their guys. Okay. They know what is going on, Mr. Esponi. <laughs> I'm expecting a very special guest tonight. Okay? He's an ex-boxer. A real celebrity. Huh? And I have something for him. Which one? Which boxer? Yes. You know. Joe Lightfoot. Joe Lightfoot. <laughs> Joe Lightfoot, my favorite. He's about six foot four. Yeah? Very handsome. See? Strong as an ox. Ah. Ding, ding, ding! Joe Lightfoot takes the ring. Here he comes, America's all top, all league. Everybody's favorite boxing man, Joe Lightfoot. Light on his feet, light with his hands. And he's taking in the ring tonight, Joe A. Constant Negro.
got himself in some trouble. He's spending too much money. And now, he owes me $22,000. $22,000, Dios mío. $22,000. And when you have a debt, you must pay. Oh, so when you said there was something special, I thought it was like something good, but it is not something good to you. A debt old is one that's incurred. A debt incurred is one that must be paid. Don't pay that debt, or then you get waylaid. You must pay the debt, cause when you borrowed, you said what you said. A debt old is as your word, so don't be a stupid bird, pay the debt you incur. <laughs> I lend dollars at a time, a sack of nickels too, if you don't pay, you know who's coming for you, I lend gold is incurred, a debt is incurred. going to pay every penny back. We'll make sure, Mr. Incondito. <laughs> Where is Prudence? She was supposed to meet me here. I did one of those boop boops, and I'm wearing this special bullet bra you oh, let yeah. me borrow. That looks good. Oh, Should I are the same size? <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like somebody else? You know what? You look like the best version of yourself. Oh, and that's somebody different, isn't it, Prudy? <laughs> Maybe you're realizing who you really are inside. Nobody wants the real me. The real me's from a small town in Ohio. And I know more about corn stalks than I do about, well, just about anything else, other than hair, of course. Sure. Sure, but I know you got more inside of there. I invited a really special guy to meet us, okay? His name is Philip. He's been friends with Billy a long time. They're actually working together. And I really think you're gonna head it off. I'm just trying out the new me. I'm not ready to... You think I didn't know? What you did with my man, Prudence? Huh? Oh, oh, I'm gonna set him up with some other girls. Well, you know what I think? I think your time's ticket, sister, this pretty kisser. Oh, that's what I think about you. Well, who are you, miss? <laughs> you don't remember me from the beauty salon? <laughs> well, you look so different with that mean look on your face. <laughs> you know what I look like? I look like my mother. <laughs> you know what, Irene? I didn't ask him to do anything he wasn't willing to do himself. <gasps> he asked me to set him up with a new dame. I worked two jobs a day to be as beautiful as I could be. I stopped learning stuff for him. Well, I don't want to wear a shirt that some other dame's pressed. Oh, <laughs> that's very nice of you. 
But it ain't your problem. I think someone knows who problem it is. Who problem it is? Your problem. <laughs> So it's me problem. <laughs> I can play this game. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm ready for you. Well, I don't think you're ready for me. Philip! You guys are both customers. I shouldn't take sides. Oh, but don't you know? It's all there is. There's only sides. We're not serving a main dish. There's only sides. With your used fish, there's only sides. We're not serving a turkey. There's only sides. You better look out! I'm gonna be lurking. Well, you got a little collard greens and a little mac and cheese. I got a little. There's only sides when I'm serving a main. There's only sides before you get your married name. That's right. I'm making the new rules about what to do with your fork. Cause if you don't like your sides on a spoon, then you better get a That's all right, you look, you look real good. You look real good. Mr. Escondido will be very happy. But you must uh, take care of all the customers, yeah? I t to take care of all the customers? Well, until all of the other girls come. Oh, I guess I better set out some chairs. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, uh, we, we, we can help with the chairs and the bit, I think. Thanks. You know, it's just like that Irene. Sometimes she's as stupid as she looks. I don't know why I'm with her sometimes. And I would say something, but Janet isn't here either. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Beverly. The new one, yes. Yeah, I'm the new one, Beverly. She's right on time. The club is opening in two minutes. So start the music, please, maestro. I'm going to route the parking lot and see if I can see those girls. We're expecting a very special case. Joe, the boxer. Okay, you make sure he has a drink in his hand. Every minute. Joe, Joe Lightfoot? Joe Lightfoot. Ah! I will go check on the bar. Okay. And listen. I want you to be available. No, this is a misunderstanding. My friend, she had a horrible fight with another woman. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them. Show him your assets. You know, if he wants another olive in his drink, bend low. And make sure you flop it right there. <laughs> and make sure you give him plenty to drink. Do you understand? Uh, uh, you're hurting me, Mr. Escondido. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Lo siento. Here's yes, another one. Her name's Janet. Ay, que linda. Una princesa. Janet. My pleasure, I'm sure. Si. Say. Si. Placer es mi. I am uh, Mr. Escondido, the owner of this uh, Copa Gienna. And Joe Lightfoot will be here tonight. You know, Joe? He's but a I, famous boxer. I'm taking care of him, so keep your paws off. This is all a misunderstanding, but I'm always willing to help. Good. I want you to pretend like he is the love of your life, huh? It's just a game. What does he look like? You no. can't miss him. 
dog died of cancer. <laughs> Let's get this party started! Look at this guy! Hey. Oh. 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 oh! oh, that's so strong and solid! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have one of your postcards, yeah, yeah. Mr. Lightfoot. Would you please sign it for yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! <laughs> Can I get you a drink, Mr. Oh, Lightfoot? Oh! I'm sorry, oh, sir. I'm so sorry. Well, no, no, no. You spilled drinks all over Joe Lightfoot. Hey, Joe, Joe, Joe. She's new. Okay, give the gun a break. Have a seat. There's a new suit. I'll buy you another one, okay? Okay. I'll get you another drink, Mr. Lightfoot. What would you like? Uh, gin and tonic. Coming right up. Ha-ha. <laughs> Let me have Joe. Hey, hey, I know I owe you a little bit of money. Uh, you know, uh, I got a, I got a good tip, though. Uh, down at the track, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the money and we'll pay you back. It's gonna be no water under the bridge for us. Have a seat, Joe. I'm not worried about the money. Oh, hey, me neither. Mr. Lightfoot. Oh, I like it better in front of me and in my mouth and on my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. I'm worried about your next fight <laughs> with Gorilla Mike. Oh, hey, that guy, he may be strong, he may be real big. But he's dumb, you know? And I'm, I'm Joe Lightfoot. Everybody's putting the money on you, yeah? Yeah. That's why I need you to throw the fight. You do that for me, right? More drinks for Joe! Oh, I'm coming right up! Yes, sir. Dito, I ain't never done that. I ain't never thrown no fight. I'm a winner! This is our first time for everything. Yo. I was not always so good looking. Not always so rich. I did something I was not very proud of. I killed a man. That was the first time. Are you, are you threatening me, Mr. Escondido? It's not a threat. Look inside, deep. a winner, yes? Yes! But I, every winner I, I, has to overcome a great loss. This will be your first. You're filling my head up with all sorts of confusing words. Think well, about it, yo. Your first loss. You'll get over it. Come, sir. All those kids think. Did you hear what he said? I mean, a girl couldn't help but hear, right? Watch out for the tables. What's your name? My name's Janet, but you're fans, sir. Janet, what do you think I should do? Oh, don't ask me. What do you think I should do? You seem like you have an honest face. Tell me what to do. She don't know nothing. On account of she's just gonna keep it buttoned up and zip. <laughs> what do you think I should do? I think you should do what Mr. Escondido says because he's a very powerful man around town. And people don't go around not doing what he says because then they don't go around no more. <laughs> I didn't follow that at all. <laughs> Lick! Listen. Lick? I meant to say listen and then I wanted to change it. I'm confused! Are you asking me? Look and listen to what I'm saying. Mostly listen because I don't talk with my hands so much. Here's the thing. Have you ever done something? Done something so... And you were so good at it that you knew in your heart it was what you were born to do. What God made you to do. Like you were stamped out of a mold one of a kind. And you ain't never failed at it. You were... You were better at it than anyone. You are king of the hill, top of the town. Have you ever climbed a mountain up to the very top? Have you ever rode a train that you knew would never stop?
foot <laughs> in front of the other and you never made a misstep oh you took the road less traveled baby and it took you up to the top have you ever known everything you know is everything that you will ever know and have you ever flown like you would never have flown oh, a chow bow now back a bow now a scabber a bow now a heaven a bow down several trouble with me. This? That yamma yamma yamma. <laughs> you know what, Philip? I'm pretty tired. You're just lucky that I work for Mr. Escondido. We got the meats. <laughs> All right now, Irene. There's no need to be hasty here. Don't you want to say, come on? Come on, Irene. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't you want to laugh now? I don't want to laugh. <laughs> Christ, sorry. <laughs> How far away do you think I can hit a man from? How far away if he's running? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how far either, because they never get very far. <sighs> <laughs> Janet, don't get mixed up in it. 
It ain't your business. And ain't nothing good gonna come out of it. Well, it's too late, Beverly, because I've been invited him here for a trim. Yo, what? <laughs> here in my salon? <gasps> for a trim? It's a dream come true. Well, you know I can't say no when somebody needs something. Don't you feel like when you look at him, you're just seeing a, a dog that's been kicked one too many times? Yeah, but you can't get sucked into that. <laughs> Oh, too late. I can see it all over your face. You're a goner, kid. Oh, it doesn't matter. He didn't notice me anyway. Are you kidding? The way he looked at you, he looked at you like, like you were the belt he's been punching for all his life. Beverly, <laughs> you're completely wrong. Listen to me, Janet. I told your mother I'd look out for you when you moved here. And I'm going to do my damnedest, but you're not making it very easy. I can see you're already three sheets to the wind in love with this dumb lug. Leave it alone! I can't help who I fall in love with! I know, but I'm just telling you, don't get mixed up in the dirty stuff. Not the dirty stuff. <laughs> Stay away from the dirty <laughs> stuff. Ding, ding. Jerry Lightfoot takes the salon. Yes. <laughs> Remember what I said. We came for a trim. My hair was getting... Kind of longish. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> she seems real stern faced and angry. Have a seat. This is my chair. That's a nice chair. Thank you. Oh, you got a picture of your mom. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming it's your mom because she's as pretty as you. Oh, stop it. May I touch your hat? Oh, I think you're going to have to if you're going to cut my hair. Yeah, let me do it. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> I think. <laughs> well, if I may. That's nice. <laughs> I never had a woman touch my hair before. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you do your own hair. Yeah, I do. There's a big spot in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I train a lot. I don't have time for other stuff, you know? I spend a lot of time training. I guess you already did, huh? Well, who do you want to be when you finish cutting? Who's the guy you want to see in the mirror? You asked me that question two days ago. I tell you exactly who I want to be, a winner. Now I don't know. Every time I look in the mirror, it's like I'm looking in someone else's face. I know the feeling. I don't wear this much rouge. <laughs> you won't wear that much rouge the other night. You're still pretty either way. You don't need rouge. Hook him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> tonight and I know Joe's gonna he's gonna throw it just like I told him si pero yo no me llamo Roberto no yo soy Enrico no Enrico si Roberto es el otro con el pelo porque vamos a ganar el papá si ha perfect it is around the ears and I made a little curl right there so no one can see that scar on your forehead. That curl is like a hook. <laughs> <clears throat> like a new man. You know, there's all kinds of winners. Yeah? How many kinds of winners are there? Oh, I can think of at least a couple. Like, what are they? Beverly says that you're dangerous. Everybody's dangerous. Some people are just more dangerous.
going to throw it in the first round. It'll be a quick fight. Make sure you collect all the bets. Uh, of course, senor. There, there is one other thing. Yes? If you see my girl Prudence, please let me know. I, I was unable to find her either. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure she's fine. I hope ah, so. Ah, here we are. She's okay. never missed a shift. <laughs> yeah, nice and tight. That's the way I like them. Yeah, yeah. What kind of fist is that? Come on. Hey, 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 look at me. Look at me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> harder, harder. Get your head in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light foot. Thanks, Danny. In the game, bud. Yeah. Tonight, the fight of the century. Joe Lightfoot versus Enrique the Gorilla Killer. Who are you? I'm Joe Lightfoot. Who are you? I'm Joe Lightfoot. And who, who is you? that? Joe Lightfoot is a winner. Right, that's right. We right in your corner. Get out there. Just remember, I'm in your corner. <laughs> hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> it's me, Mr. Enrique. Can you see me in the lights? Yeah, you're right in the front row. I can see you real good. <laughs> Why are you coming into the thing? I'm serving as a referee. What? That's... Just to make sure nothing goes wrong, right? <laughs> Two men with everything to lose.
back here. I walked. <laughs> oh, I'm walking out. Oh, do you know that girl, Janet? <laughs> of course I know that girl, Janet. Who doesn't know that girl, Janet? Tell her I say goodbye. Sure. I'll tell her that. You saying goodbye to Mr. Escondido as well? No, don't tell him anything. <laughs> Who says I have to tell him? Who says I don't know? Exactly. <laughs> what Mr. Escondido wants. You work for him? Yeah. I do. I do odd jobs. <laughs> How many boxers have I killed with my knife? How many boxers will take a swing at me? I ain't gonna swing at you. No? Then I guess it'll be zero. I'm just gonna say something. I'm in love, alright? I found real love. So you can go ahead and kill me. But you should know that you're killing love. <laughs> love doesn't exist. You're a sucker if you think that. Alright, well then I'm a dead sucker. Who believes in love? What are you... You just saw someone and you... You knew? It's Janet! I never told her. I love you! <laughs> I need you to know that before I die. No. How many beauty shop ladies have I killed while running away? <laughs> Don't you hurt her! Look, I have a job to do. And if I stop doing it because of love, well, that was my stupid mistake. But I'm not going to make it twice. Hold on a minute. Wait. Oh, this floor is uneven. <laughs> <laughs> something too. <coughs> you didn't know, but I used to date your mother. And I told her I would repay that. Looks like you did that for me, Joe. You're giving her the one thing she never got. Love. We're even. Misunderstanding, okay? No misunderstanding, Mrs. Mr. Escondido. Damn it! <laughs> Come walk a little no, closer. No, don't you take another step. Look don't out behind you! Don't you take another step! Look out behind you! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Chief of Security. <laughs> Beverly. I feel like you're some magic fairy with an accent. <laughs> Don't trust him. We 
can't stay here. We gotta go. He might be having a change of heart right now, but I know his type. Two days from now, a month from now, maybe a week, maybe a year, some span of time, I don't know. He'll bring his femme fatale out of the shadows to throw her heel into our back. <laughs> After asking us a bunch of mysterious questions. I see what you're saying. If you get your happy ending, you gotta grab it and run with it. Hook it in the face! And hook it in the face! I packed. Let's go. Let's leave this town. Just you and me. Just you and me. Me. That's okay. It's your happy ending anyway. Ha <laughs> ha!